Okay, so um, I decided to make a little change to my hiking belt, and I'm like addicted to this Alice stuff. Before, on the back of the belt, I had the, uh, the Alice radio pouch. And the Alice radio pouch is really cool. You know, it, it attached with two Alice clips there. Uh, it, but it, it just, it kind of, when you put any weight in it, it kind of hung over the belt a little bit. I don't think it's made to be put on an Alice belt because in this little pouch, it's got the shoulder strap. And I kind of got it tucked in there because I didn't want to cut it off. So that one's useless. And this one was great for holding the knife, but I wanted something just a little bit bigger. So I graduated up to this. Specifically, this. This is the 200 round saw ammo pouch. Uh, and it's a, it's a lot bigger and a lot better. Uh, just a short history lesson. The, the, if you were a saw gunner, S-A-W, S-A-W stands for Squad Automatic Weapons. So if you were the designated saw gunner in your outfit, you were the guy who was assigned to carry the light machine gun. And I think in Vietnam, the light machine gun was not very light. I think it was the M60, which fired uh, uh, belt-fed 308 cartridges. And I think in uh, Desert Storm, they graduated up to the M249 weapon systems, which was the 5.56 light machine gun. But you carried either one or two of these. And this held a 200-round 5.56 drum, or it, hold, or it held, I think... Uh, uh, 150 round belts of 308 stacked sideways. So uh, I don't want to carry a 200 round drum or 150 rounds of 308s, but I do want to carry this for camping. And this is really, really cool. This holds, and just by the way, if you wanted to use it for, for bugging out or urban survival or anything else, here are five AR-15 magazines. And it has space for at least one more. And you'll notice these are green tips in there. Here's how five AR-15 magazines fit in there. And these are empty magazines, only one's full. And if you had five full magazines, it would be fairly heavy. But since when I'm hiking, I don't carry my AR-15. There you go. So here's what I graduated up to. And it sits on the belt really nice, really square. In the back is the feature that I got this for. Not only does it hook on with the Alice clips, it's got the belt loop strap. And this belt loop goes right, uh, you know, my, my web belt, my heavy web belt goes right through there. And this baby doesn't sag at all. I mean, it, it, it works great. So, here we go. This is my new, this is my new camping pouch, okay? And, and it is, for comparison purposes, when you open it, it's nice and square, and you have a nice square box. The top folds right back, six inches wide, about three and a half deep, and about eight or nine inches high. So, What can you carry in there? You can carry a ton of stuff. Here's my whole Rusi mosquito net hammock. Right in there perfectly with room to spare. You know, I could scrunch, I could scrunch a fire kit on the other side, or you know, you can stuff your gloves under there. And it velcros and it snaps. Plus, it's got another loop so that you can hook it onto your LBV stuff. So I really like the 200 round saw ammo pouch. That's my constant companion on my ultimate survival hiking belt. Uh, you saw my canteen cooking kit the other day. I'll show you the other pouches sometime soon, but here you go. The 200 round saw or squad automatic weapons ammo pouch. They also call it the small arms ammo pouch. This cost me about 19 bucks shipped off of eBay. So try one, you'll like it. Once again, this is Matt from Florida Board Survival. See you next time.